Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do uh, a request I got. Uh, I thought it was a very interesting request, and um, so I'm going to do it. So Diane, this one's for you. Uh, she asked if I could, if it would be possible for new um, new people who are new to mixed media, art journaling, that kind of thing, wonder if they're afraid to paint on a canvas, especially if they're doing a... Um, not a portrait, but like a folk art kind of girl, that kind of thing, and using a canvas. So this canvas is from uh, when I used the ultra dyes to see if we could make, you know, it would work on canvas and all. You can see it did. I'll put the video to that down below, and hopefully I'll remember to put it up here um, for you to go check it out. But we have a canvas here, and this canvas is 8 by 10 and I have a mixed media tablet, which is a Canson mixed media and um, nine by 12. And what I'm gonna do, I just sewed this page. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on here, this canvas, cause this is the one I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna take a pencil. Um, you would think I would have pencils around what now? Okay, I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm going to just kind of outline this canvas. Now. When you go to your local craft store, AC Moore, Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, you know what I'm saying, Walmart sells them, you can get packages of canvases. I like to get 8x10. I like to get 5x7. Um, you can buy them. They sell them in groups. Um, usually you get like three or four in a package. You can use uh, a coupon at all your you know, arts and craft stores to get them. And this is a great way to, you know, go about... Um, I don't know, kind of kind of going with your own flow, if that makes sense. So first, what I would do is I would decide what colors I want to use. Well, what color background do you want? Now, this, this is already uh, colored. Um, you don't need to have it colored. It can be a complete, uh, complete white canvas because we're going to be gluing on it. You can also listen to me preach cardboard best friend in the world, cardboard. If you have boxes, if you have cereal boxes, that type of thing, that can become your canvas. So for beginners, that's a wonderful way to kind of, you know, transfer your art maybe that you've uh, played around and done in your mixed media uh, book or what have you, printer paper, uh, scrapbook paper, you know, whatever you're working on and transfer it onto cardboard as well. Maybe you don't have money for canvas. So, you know, that's an option as well. Or a canvas that you painted that you hate, do it over it, you know. I like to stick, like I said, eight by 10 by five by, uh, and five by seven. So I have this, gonna take it out the way. I have this now. Well, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna do a very simple background. You're starting out, um, I'm doing a lot of beginners videos. Um, for y'all, so y'all can just kind of get into it a bit, right? So we're going to start with this one. And I think what we're going to do the backgrounds, let's do, oh, I don't know. Let's do a uh, light blue. Let's start with light blue. This is uh, Coastal Blue, and it's by Folk Art. And we're going to go very um, simple here on the background. Nothing major. You're just starting out. I have so many videos for... Uh, beginners. And you're going to stay inside this uh, square that you drew. Now look, if you go outside the square, it doesn't matter. You're going to cut it. But this gives you an idea for when you're doing um, your drawing or even collage. You don't have to always draw. You can do collages. Um, go in your magazines and, you know, take out different things and collage. So I'm going to do this like this, not um, worrying too much. You can see I'm going to go on the outside. I'm not worrying about that. And then kind of wipe my brush off on the edges. Okay. Now let's pick another color. I'm gonna just dry that real quick with a paper towel. Come here, paper towel. Okay, and I'm just gonna rinse off my brush, dry it, you know doesn't have to be all the way dry and I'm going to brush this one off too. Dry it off a little bit. Now let me tell you this. Do you remember I was using the paper towel? This is with the ultra dyes as well. And look at this beautiful piece of paper. Paper towel. That's one.
this is two. These are dry now, and I crumble them because I like the texture, but you don't have to. And this is three. So I have three paper towels here with, uh, you know, the ultra dye, maybe a little bit of uh, paint or spray, and I just leave them dry. Now these become backgrounds. So you could, if you don't want to paint, you can put this as your background. You got a fantastic background going there. So remember that when you're using, you know, paper towels and all. I like to recycle and reuse, and um, so I'll be using those in a video. But just giving you a little something, something there. Okay, so next what I want to do is what other color do we want? You know what I haven't tried? What is this? Let's do royal gold. Let's do some gold. Yeah. This is just going to be metallic royal gold from Folk Art. Yesterday I glued my scissors together. Don't ask. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's do something... I'm going to take this. It's just sitting here. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of try to do something. Now I'm going to try to avoid the middles. I'm just going to squirt some of that down. Oh, look at that shine. Yas, yas, yas. I'm going to um, try something. Not a big deal. But what kind of brush do I want? I can try this one. I'm going to dip this in. Let's see if this will... wonder if I can, how much of a pain in the butt if I do separate. Let's see if this, <clears throat> I don't want to spend hours doing it. You know what I mean? Like the flower, but I kind of want that shape. And this is any kind of stencil you have or draw it hand, you know, hand draw it. I just want to see how this lays on this blue. My mind goes a mile a minute, six different things. I'm six projects ahead of myself. Uh, <laughs> when I sit here trying things and let's lift this up. You see very simple. I'm not even, I'm not worrying about it too much. I want to see. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Not digging it, but so I'm probably going to erase it, but I will put it on this side and get this off just by pushing it down or sliding it down, whatever, whatever way you want. And then if you lift it up, if there's any paint, so we didn't have much paint on there because I didn't go too far. All right. So that's on there. I'm not digging on that too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and it's wet and I'm just going to go in here and wet it just a little bit and I'm going in. Dries fast. Look at that. Now I'm okay. You see, I'm not pushing too much of it away. The paint is, um, I mean, not the paint, the flower is still there, but I want to get into these white spots. Okay. Now I also got asked by Diane if I could use, if we can use paint, now watch, I'm just giving it a quick wipe. I want a lot of that on there. And I'm going to leave it, but I'm just getting a lot of the moisture off. If I could stamp using acrylic paint. Now I thought I did one of these before. I might not have, but we will today. Okay. So today what I'm going to do is wipe this off. Let's take a dark blue. Are you dark blue? You look black. Okay. La, la, la. Let's do purple. This is periwinkle, which is a bluish purple. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to squirt a little bit of my um, acrylic paint. This is folk art periwinkle. And I'm going to take a, I'm going to use a stencil brush, but you use whatever brush you have. And I'm just going to tap this in. See how I'm like making it move all around and it's making that bigger. I don't want too much. I'm going to tap off there and then I'm going to tap on here. And I'm going to do this two different ways. So I'm tapping on here, getting on the edges and all. And then what I'm going to do, let's just kind of, so yeah. Can you use paint? Uh-huh. But let me tell you something. You want to make sure your bottom is dry because if it's not, it's going to lift it off. Now I just said, look how beautiful that looks with that black. <gasps> I need to do a painting. 
I'm going to do a painting. Yeah, not this one, but another one. And I'm going to have this concept in a sense because I love that. The color is awesome. Now, I was also asked if you could dip this in acrylic paint, and I would advise you not to. Uh, if you dip this into your blob of paint that you have somewhere, what's going to happen is it's going to be very blobby. You're not going to get to see what it is. Now, I'm going to take this off the edge. So when I go to cut this out, we just have some pattern. And I'm going to go back on here just so we have some pattern. Not a big deal. Now, if you have paint on here and you're not happy. Let's say this one, we're like, I don't really dig that one. Or maybe even this one, lips, it doesn't matter. Take your brush, put it in your water, and then like push the water out a bit. You know, you don't want it soaking wet. But then we can go in, because it's acrylic paint, and normally anything really you're using before it dries. And look, I can get rid of that. I can go over this a couple times, two different ways, and just leave that purplish blue there and I can lighten it, do whatever I want before it dries. Might need a little more water. Yep. And it'll just erase it if you're not happy with it. But see, I'm just going to pull some of that blue in there. Now I still have this and I'm going to put some water on here because I don't want it to necessarily um, stain the stamp. I don't clean off ink off my stuff because I'm weird that way, but... You see what I'm saying? Okay. So now we have some of that delicious purple color. I really like that purple color. This, the acrylic paint dries so fast, like the folk art. I love it because it's just enough time for me to do what I want to do or take off what I want to take off. But now we have some stamping. Now, where is my other, I wanted to do, here we go. I have some, because we're doing the blue. So wouldn't it be fun? We have some blue washi tape. It look how sparkly. It's a very sparkly. So we're going to use this on here once we glue it on our canvas. So I'm going to leave that there because that's what I'm going to do with it. Now, where are my, I had my paints in here I was going to use, and I don't know what the heck I'm done with. Don't know what the heck I did with it. All right, let's just use this then. We'll use this. I'm going to dip it in more paint. This delicious from Stamp Pendus is, is so old and I love it. But what color am I going to do? Let's do a dark red. Let's do a uh, naphthol crimson. And I'm just going to let this be right into the purple right there. Now we're going to add some red. I have this and I'm, I'm digging on this. So, because you want me to use paint today. I'm putting it on there and watch a very lightly and I'm holding it down here and see how I don't want to get that whole thing like all the ins and outs and the nooks and crannies. I don't want to get, get blah, 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 paint on them. Hello medication. Okay. Now just start. Look how awesome. And that is just your acrylic paint. I didn't realize that I hadn't really done videos using your acrylic paint as your stamp, uh, stamp, faux stamp pad. And I'm just going over, and now I'm just going to rock it all over the place. That red is an awesome red. Now I'm going to go on a different side of this. Now I would wipe that off a little bit if you want. Yeah, I don't have to. Now let me show you this one. This has a little bit more texture. And you can run it both ways. So it hits all sides. See how I'm doing? And I'm not pushing hard. I'm just holding it and letting it do it itself. And then we can go in and look. And I'm just laying it down. Very simple. Now let's do this one. I'm going to go that way. This way. A lot of red. I know, but I love it. And it will be tamed down. Oh, need a little red there. So I'm just going back in with my brush. I'm going to do that. Okay. So you see, you get the, you get what I'm picking up when I'm putting down. So we have some red in there. And you see it looks crazy because I got it all outside the edges and everything else. This paint, though, I love. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it. Oh. Put it on an art journal page right here for another time. I hate wasting paint. Okay. Okay. 
So there's that. Now, I'm going to dry it because I don't want to mix this color in. I want this red to be in here somewhere, right? So if we would go over it right now, what it's going to do, it's going to smear. And I don't want it to smear. I want it to stay. And this is just going to be a beginner canvas, you know, beginner mixed media canvas. Very simple. And it's okay, a little damp or whatever, but I, uh, I'm going to put another color on. Now, I love the way the blue looked, so I think I'm going to go with more of the light blue that I used, the um, coastal blue. I thought it's a cannibal for a minute. I'm like, no, that's not it. And you know what? I don't even have to put it on there. I'm going to put it up here. Right on my page. I'm going to take my big brush and I'm going to hold it. This is a big brush. Whatever brush you have, it doesn't matter. Use a sponge brush. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put it here and I'm going to drag it. A few different ways and as you get farther down the page push your brush down and it's going to edit some of those the red out and what that means is it's pushing stuff to the back while some of the stuff still is in the front so when you look at when you look at this right here you can see how going through it you still have, you know, when you look at it, you can still see the back, like it's pushed back on the paper, but then like this one, this one, those are still at your front. That's what is so wonderful about mixed media is, I mean, really, you just play with the way you put your stuff down, no matter if it's one color, two, whatever it is, and you just have a fun, you know, have a fun blast here. I'm going to do a little bit down here, not too much, and I, I wouldn't wet it because I like that kind of texture, and I'm just going to kind of do the same thing. And just pull it around. And that's all you're going to need. Now I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to pull this out and cut it. Now if you have stamps with words you want to use or other stamps, by all means go for it. This is just a basic couple stamps. Use your foam stamps. I have a million videos on how to make foam stamps with kids foam. A lot of fun. All right. So now I'm going to take this, pull it out and take this away. And I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to go along the lines best of your ability. I know a lot of us have a lot of hand issues, so just do the best that you can. And that's one of the reasons why I like to put the lines down so I know where to go. Although a lot of people tell me where to go. <laughs> oh. uh. I got a couple of emails in the last week of people saying that I haven't been doing my that's what she said. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. Okay, donkey. So you see, look at that. Look how much different it looks without all the edges and all. And now I still have these dark parts on here that I want to do. Um, I think I'm going to take the, I'm going to stick with just the two colors, right? Um, the periwinkle and the blue, the, the, uh, coastal blue. So I'm just going to do a little squirp right there. I'm going to take my paintbrush again and I'm just going to, it's wet, but it's not soaking wet. I'm going in and I'm going to go around the sides where that white is showing. And anywhere else you have, you might have white. Maybe you want to use the gold to do this instead. Maybe you want to trim it in some gold, right? And I'm just turning it and I'm going like this, hitting those white spots on the outside. Because when you get it on the canvas, you want it to be. So 
So now what I'll do is I don't want it to be so, you know, around it, like, oh, look at that purple around there or that periwinkle. So I'm just going to kind of go in with a dry brush and pull any extra that I have on there right now. And it seems to, like, this stuff dries so fast. Okay, so now let's do a little bit of water on our brush and feather these edges like this. Just so it kind of, I don't know, softens it up somewhat. Okay. And you see, just, just soften it up, but it still has that nice kind of edge to it. And you can clean your brush off inside there, use the rest of that because that's not going to hurt anybody. But look how cool that is. I mean, that's that's the background. Look at the difference from when we first started. It didn't really look like much on the, um, you know, before I cut the, the parts off. See, but now when you glue it on your canvas when you're done, if you're happy with it, that's our background so far. So now what I'm going to do Oh, I could keep going, but I'm going to, I'm going to draw. We're going to draw. So I'm going to hit this with the gun, the heat gun, which is up here. Now you can see right here, some water's running. It's a little too wet. So I'm just going to hold my hair dryer heat gun or just let it dry, or you can even pat it off. It's up to you. So I'm going to concentrate more here. Now what I want to do, do I want to use paint? Do I want to draw it first? How do I want to do this? Maybe I'll use my white Stabilo, but let's see how we do here. So what I want to do, I want the head, I want the face to be on here. I'm not going to do like a doll kind of thing. I want this to be over top of this back. I love this background. I'm, I keep seeing it in the thing and I'm like, I just love this background so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down here, kind of here, and I'm going to do the lines for her face. And she doesn't have to be the whole page, but she's not going to be like a figure, if that makes sense. I'm just going to kind of have an idea. Now, I saw you guys were saying that you'd be interested in one of these Stabilos. I love these things. I love all the Stabilos. Black is my favorite. And then I think this is a close second. So I see, you see, we got her face. Now we can make her a little bit more rounded if we want, you know, whatever. But I'm going to go and just kind of put in a neck. Very simple. I know I'm going to put, I know I should probably, uh, how you say, sharpen it. I can't speak today. I, I shouldn't even be allowed out of bed today because oh, I'm so airheaded today. I know I have pencil sharpener. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to sharpen my pencil. So prepared I am. Oh, I'm going to sound like Yoda there for a minute. Okay. Um, there we go. So I know I want to put the, the mouth is, you know, down here by the chin. So I'm going to kind of do, you know, a little chin thing there for now. You know how like the chin has that little area and I'm doing that so I can kind of judge. I'll take that off. I won't keep that on, but just so I can kind of judge where I want the mouth to be. So I'm going straight with a line like that. No big deal if it's too big. And I'm going to do, let's see, let's do it here. I just do this and then swing it down this way. See, and we have half of it done. And I'm not worrying if it's spot on because I'm going to paint it or do something with it, right? So she could be looking this way. It's kind of how I do the face. I don't know. We'll see. And then I'm going down with the lips. And you can see I'm kind of just hitting it there. Now, can you go into your a magazine and pull a face out and do this? Of course you can. 
I've done many magazine, you know, done art with magazines before. I'll uh, put a video down below for it. Um, but check it out. Uh, you know, there's very easy ways for you to get to to move forward with your art. I I I've gotten asked a lot of questions, and I need to sit and do a vlog. But um, one of the things that for me, um, as I am getting older and diseases progress, my skill level <laughs> goes backwards somewhat. Um, I used to be so much better at doing uh, mixed media and drawing and all that kind of stuff. Um, I was a, the pain wasn't the same. It wasn't at this level. The brain fog, all that. Um, you know, as the longer you're with illness and medication and whatnot, the worse it gets. Um, but I don't. That's why I do what I do because I don't want it to to defeat people. I want you to move forward. And one of the things is you cannot stay stuck. Um, one of the things I say is if you you know, you just try, you're not hurting it. Just even if you don't show anybody, because I know a lot of people in my group get nervous of showing their art because they're afraid they're going to be judged and it's not going to be fantastic. It's going to turn into a vlog. I didn't want to do, but, um, don't be afraid. You have to move forward. Even if you don't show anybody. And I always say, do your first face, put it away, continue practicing a day, like for 10 days straight, seven days, whatever you have in you. Do it every day and look then at your first one compared to your last one and how much you've grown. Practice is what makes you better for any type of art. Nobody, there's nobody out there worse than me, I swear sometimes with the brain capacity I have sometimes and how I I love drawing and sometimes they come out like pure, excuse me, shit. Um, but it does, I don't let it defeat me. It gets me sad sometimes. Yes. And, and I don't always like it because my control in my hands isn't as good as it used to be, but I still love doing it. And I love when you guys take that dive and that step forward and show me what you guys do. The face for the first time, mixed media for the first time, art drilling, for, whatever it is. And that's what you just keep, got to keep moving forward and don't give up. That's the main thing. All right. Enough of the preaching. All right. So here I'm going to do <coughs> the news. And I'm going to go with a, just a little upside, you know, like a fat U and then bring my nose down. And like I always say too, I draw crooked. I draw everything going up because it's the way I hold things. It's the way I see things. It's just me. It's why I love doing the odd girls because you don't have to worry. So I'm going to take this piece of the news up and just kind of take it there. And that's going to let me know where my eye is going to go. And then to do the eye, which is any kind of eye you want. If you want to do the eye, like you want to put a line down and do, I have, you know, like I did the goddess. You can definitely do that. I mean, you can see, you can play with this a little bit and make this a little curved. You want to do, do your circle in the eye and then do an almond shape eye, you know, and play around. You could do your eye like that. So you definitely can do whatever kind of eyes you want. You want to do it like this. If maybe you like doing ovals, do it like that. So make it whatever way you want. It's all right. It's yours. And then what kind of eye am I going to do? I think I'm just going in like this for now. And then I'm going to come over. You want basically, you see how wide this is? You want that basically in between your next eye. I just judge it. Probably why my faces sometimes look awkward, but I just do it because I love doing it. I don't want, you know. Okay, so you see we got our eyes in there. Now here's where you can stop. You can stop now and she just has closed eyes. Do you see what I'm saying? She's smiling. She's smiling. And she has closed eyes because she's smiling. If you want to stop there, stop. Otherwise, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my circle. I'm going to do my circle. And because I'm using this um, erasable pencil, you know, or any pencil that you use, use your regular pencil, it'll, you know, you can work with it and it'll come off. So I'm just going to kind of underneath this eyeball and kind of just a little bit up like that. I can see they're not going to be even. It's okay. Just a little bit, nothing too major. Now this eye might be too far that way. So we'll see in a momento. Then I'm going to add my 
uh, eyebrows. Or no, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the top of the eye because I like to have a little eyelid kind of look in there. See how just over the top, just like that. And then for the eye, I want it to be a little more closed eyed, if that makes sense. So I'm going back in and because I'm using, and now you can use your pencil and erase this. This is what I do. I'm just going to go over and kind of cut that eye a third off. See that? And then I can color this in if I want and make that the eyelid. See how that changes that look from that look? And this is where you play to, you know, And then that makes, look, look how different it looks. Now I can take those off, which I'm going to do. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to give some of these Stabilos away. So if you're watching this long, hmm. All right, let me get these off first. Now watch. I'm just going to take my wet brush and wet it. Do it like that and then take my paper towel and just dab it or whatever. And look, it comes off like magic, magic. It's magic. All right. I don't know. I like to sing for no reason at all. I don't know if you guys do the same thing as me, but when I'm in stores and songs come on, I know I find myself <laughs> singing and forgetting I'm in the middle of the store. Might just be me who does that. Let me know. Is it just me? I don't know. I'm shopping. And a song comes on, maybe it's the Bee Gees, Staying Alive. Stay, and and can, you, can you listen to the Bee Gees, Staying Alive, without kind of bopping around a little bit? I don't know. Maybe you're better than me. But I can't. Staying Alive. Staying Alive. Uh, uh. That's, and then I'm, gone. I'm done. I'm done. All right. Enough of my wonderful life. <laughs> Embarrassing life. I'm going to go in with uh, an eyebrow here. An eyebrow there, eyebrow here, here brow, there brow, everywhere brow, brow. Okay, so you see I put that up there a little too high. So I'm going to take my wet paper here, paper towel. I'm going in like that. And you see how I erase some of that off? Very easy. So I think this is going to be a great video for me to do a giveaway. So... Stay tuned to a little closer to the end, and I'm going to give you the word to use down below. And then maybe I'll pick, I don't know, one, two, maybe three winners, and I will send you a white Stabilo all. This, not this one, this is mine, but new. Uh, they're new. I, they're, they're good ones um, for y'all to play with on here as well. And this will change your life, especially if you're just starting out. So you know what I'm saying? All right. So that's what I did with that so far. Now the hair... You know, hair could be anything. Um, I leave, you know, I don't always close the head because I know I'm going to be putting hair on it. So I just go down. I'm just going to pick. I'm not going. This is going to be the part. And then I just kind of do a bang if you want to bang. Or you could take it down like this and do a, you know, side of the head. Maybe we'll do that. Go over the eyebrow a little bit. And just bring it down like that. See? Now remember, that's the head. If that's getting on your nerves, like if that is, if you're thinking, oh, gee, is that a, a line, you know, that I drew for something? No, it's just the line there. And then just bring it down. And you got your hair. Look at that. See how she's changing so much just with little things that you do? And then just bring this girl down, right? Look at that. Right here. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now, as you can see, here is the face. And I want to do, let me take this off right here. I want to do gray. I think I'm going to do grays and black on here. So I just erased that little thing, kind of, you know, looking that way. I'm not really too uh, concerned, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take black paint. This is licorice from folk art. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'll move my camera so you can see in a minute. Let me just, <laughs> come on. Let's go, let's go. I'm going to do like three, four piles of black. Okay. And then I'm going to take white. Well, this is almost gone. 
And I'm going to go one drop, a couple drops, a couple more drops, a couple more drops. Okay. I know. Ridiculous, right? Right. Why don't you just use gray, gray paint? Because not a lot of us have gray paint. And I'm going to show you how you can do this with no issue. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is mix these together. And I'm going to use the back of a paintbrush for now. I'm mixing it. You can add a little water if you want. You can add uh, some, uh, oh, what the crap is it called? can't think of it. Extender, extender, you know. So I just, you can see it's a little, a little gray. It's a dark gray. And then this color. And I'm not using the bristle end, which you definitely can, because I, don't, I just don't want it to um, soak up any of the color. You know what I mean? Then I'm going to have to clean it off. It's much easier to do this. If you have a popsicle stick, that's good. Guess what? Maybe you eat popsicles in the summer or maybe all your life. I don't know. And those delicious sticks at the end, when you're done, save them. Put them in a little bit of hot water to rinse off any of the sugar or coloring. And then put them in your art room because we can use them for so many things. This would be a good one to mix, to use for texture, whatever you want. Now you can see that one's a little bit lighter. Let's see this one. It's going to be even a little lighter. So you know what I'm going to do? I want you guys to make a sentence with the word gray down below. And today is what? Wednesday? So, so Sunday, I will pick two, maybe three winners. And I will then send you next week, a uh, white Stabilo All pencil. So you can play as well. So I don't know how many people, I have to see how many of these I've left. So at least two. I'll at least pick two people. There you go. And you can see the more you stir it, the better it gets. Okay. That's it. And then I'm just going to, you know, look how easy the cleanup is rather than the brush and the water all the time. Sometimes it's just how I do things. Okay, so what I want to do is I want her hair to be the darkest. So I'm going to stay away from that for a second. But what you should do is, and I'm going to do it in a second if I can find my spray bottle. i got so many projects going on, so I'm a hot mess. Um, look, I'm spraying some water. If you see that maybe... This isn't as light as you want it. See, this one looks actually lighter than this one. No big deal. That's the lightest, but that's the darkest. So no big deal. You just, you know, just do your thing and add more white if you want or more of the black. It doesn't matter. This way, if you, you know, I always tell you guys red, orange, green, uh, Ruji Biv, uh, blue, purple, and then you do a black and white and you have all the colors to mix for all the colors of the rainbow. And, um, Matter of fact, one of the things I was asked by a couple of people, because I know I do this spiel all the time, is to be able to mix different colors with just the Roy G. Bib Black White. So that'll be coming up as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do her face, and I'm just going in with some of this. going to mix it a little bit better with my brush, both sides. And then I'm going in for her face and her neck, right? So... I'm going to go around the chalk and you can go over the chalk or you could erase the chalk, whatever way you want to do it. I'm just going over it and I'm going to paint her face. Now you can go over the eyes and the nose and then redraw them if you want, but I'm going to try to keep them on there. And one second here, I want this to be a little a little darker. Do you see how dark it looks on here? Not a big deal. But you see the beautiful grays that you can get just from having black and white and mixing them with different degrees. So, okay. I'm probably just going to go over the nose and redraw it because that's a little harder to do. To sit and play with. 
And then going over the eyebrows, no big deal. Same over here. And as it dries, it dries a little bit darker. No big deal. Go over it. All right. Did my brush fall? Okay. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of the white and just squirt it there. I'm going to clean my brush off with a paper towel or your art rag or another, you know, I really advise it on in your art journal on another page just to add some, you know, color and not waste it but you see i'm just wiping it off there and i'm going to go in with a little bit of this white and i'm going to kind of go in here and kind of almost like a highlight right because where's our highlights always at it's where i'm greasiest <laughs> in the uh there we go your cheeks your nose up here your t-zone right t-zone and I'm going to bring it down here. Now you can see I did not, I must have uh, missed that. And again, you can go over the, you know, the chalk. It's not a big deal. I can, that's what I'm just going to do. Look what I'm going to do. Watch this. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. It's called patience. Not today. All right. So a little bit more of the white. I'm going to do a little highlight down here. And I'll just bring this down. And if you need to, if you feel more comfortable wetting your brush a little bit, you can. Some people don't, you know, they like to have moistness. <laughs> oh my God, it made me gag on, my, on your brush. Okay, so you see how we're just laying that in right there? Now I'm going to go in and just kind of spread it a little bit. See how that looks a little bit different than over here? And do the same thing here. And everything will be a little damp. The darker color, that gray. So you're just blending it. See? Very simple. Do that around the nose. If your brush gets dry and you start lifting up paint, just wet it a little bit. And I'm just kind of doing that. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going into the neck now. I'm going in. All right. Very easy. Very simple. Goes right over the color. I hope that this is helping you guys. A little bit more white. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. All right. And then we're going to take a little bit of the white down here in the middle. See, and then you can blend it. Not that big a deal. But what I'm going to do is see my brush? I'm going to leave it. You see how it's like got that edge on it. I'm just going to very lightly plop it in the dark and I'm going to take it around here and use it like I'm almost a calligraphy pencil, right? Pop it one more time. Right in that little bit where the neck goes. See how we did that? So it's kind of a little bit of a separation. Now I'm not going to keep it that black. What I'm going to do is I'm just using my pad here to take off some of that dark color, but I'm going to go back into here now and I'm just going to like pat it back and forth. And what it's going to do is blend it a little bit, but you're still going to have that little bit of a shadow. You don't want it look, to look like a beard. Okay. You don't want it to be a beard, but and it won't once we get the mouth and everything on. And then I'm just going to spread it down just a little bit. Spread it around. Okay. 
Yep, and then take a little bit more of my light gray and kind of edit it a little bit on the chin. I love doing grays and and uh, blacks, you know, with the paintings. I just love it. All right, so then I'm going to leave that like that. So I'm going to leave my brush here. I'm not going to rinse it off because I don't necessarily want it um, wet right this second. And I'm going to go in with the eye. So I'm going to go in with white on a little brush and I'm going right in here. And I'm going to color that in, paint that in rather. But you can color it if you want to do something like this with crayons or uh, colored pencils, watercolor paints, whatever you want. Just going in the eyeball. Okay. Now while that dries, I'm going to go in with this little... This color right here which is a little darker and that's going to be my eyelid okay and you see how that kind of makes it pop a little bit not bothering the eye I just Touch it in just a little bit, and we're doing the eyelid. Okay. And you see how that really, really good. Now I'm going to keep taking this, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in the black, and I'm going to wipe this on its side and kind of twirl it so it gives me a nice kind of point. And I'm going in. I know this is my chin, and I'm going to go in. So you can see how I go crooked. Look, I'm going to show you. I'm not ashamed. It is what it is. I am who I am. Um, you can see how this goes up a little bit. So, you know, it's just how my arms and my hands work. Um, all right. So here's the chin. So I'm going to go right here and draw. And if you don't want to draw with your paintbrush, by all means, use a, you can use your white, uh, Stabilo or pencil or whatever, whatever you want to do. And then I'm going to kind of go in and close that off for now as the lip, as the bottom. And it'll let me know a little bit more of where I want that middle. And you can see it's kind of crooked. It's all right. Let's go here. And I'm just drawing with my thin paintbrush. I know I'm going to have to be doing a vlog soon, answering a bunch of questions. I've been writing down. I keep saying it, but I just I just haven't done it. But I need to. All right, so now we're just going to go in. And I'm going to lay this black down all around. Yep, and I'm going to take some of the white, dip in just a little bit, and just kind of add these highlights kind of here a little bit. They don't have to be massive highlights because we're going to kind of bop them down um, with the brush. So, because I don't want it to be white, I just want it to be a little bit of a highlight. But maybe you want yours white, by all means, do whatever way you want. See how we do that? I, I will do it with my hands sometimes, my fingers. Because sometimes I just get better better coverage that way. But it's clearly up to you, whatever way you want to do it. And then I'll go over the outline one more time just to kind of... Yeah. Blend it out. Yas, yas. Okay, yeah, okay, not hating it. So now I'm gonna go into the nose and I'm gonna go into there and a little bit. In there. I know, I put all that out there, I'm okay though, because I can do her hair in that color, I'm gonna mix it up with highlights. Now I'm gonna do the nose. Now you can see right here, 
And right there. Oh, I got to tell you before I do the nose, even though probably nobody's watching it at this point because it's so long. However, I made delicious, delicious dill pickles yesterday from cucumbers, Kirby cucumbers. I have two big jars that I made. I posted a picture of it on Instagram. But, oh my goodness. Now I'm going to let them sit until tomorrow and then we'll taste them because even though they were delicious the way it was, but, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, if you guys want me to do a video, I will do a video making them, but I am so excited. I can't, I'm, I'm already saying to Dave, should we get like some good hoagie rolls and some lunch meat <laughs> and make ourselves a nice hoagie uh, to use with our pickles? Like, how are we going to eat these pickles? So if you guys are, in, look, I don't care if you're not interested. Um, I just thought maybe somebody would be interested in a, uh, in a video on it. Um, but I'll have to show you the jar in one of my videos just so you can see. Oh, so I just, I'm so excited. Anyway. All right. So I'm going for the nose and I want it to be kind of where that you can see the light, uh, where it is. And I'm just going to kind of go in like that. You can make it a U round, whatever way you want. I'm going to make it very very cool now you can see look up I went up so what am I gonna do I'm gonna wet my brush I'm gonna dry my brush just leave it damp I'm going in look what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna wipe it up okay go back into a darker the dark color and do it again that's all no big deal. And then I can go in with the lighter gray again, and I can edit this and erase it in a sense, parts that maybe I don't want or are too thick. And I can just go in there with that lighter color and it ends up to be an eraser for me. I can dip in a little bit of white if I want and bring that up more. It's all in how you play. All in how you play. So there you go for that. And then it's going to dry and that's the nose. Okay. So can you see all the shadows? I mean, I don't know how well this is picking up. It's picking up a lot here with me, but it might not be a lot with you. Um, can you see the different, uh, like the shadows where you can see in the neck and the face around the eyes, you know, it, it takes a minute, but you're just kind of blending them. And I'm going to show you how to fix. I did this on purpose so you can fix it. And I'll show you once I get the eyes going. So I got that in the eyes. Now I got to decide, do I want the eyes to stay white? I kind of dig that, but I think I'm going in, I'm going to go in with this color and again, use whatever color you want. And I'm going to go in like this, like a, a moon. I'm not going to do a complete circle in there. You see what I did? I did a U. I'll do the other side now over here. I'm just going like a U. See that way it eliminates you having to make it the eye. You know what I mean? It's round. It's not round. You're kind of doing some damage for your, or doing some cleanup, I guess, for yourself. Because if we would have done a circle in this little white area, like, let's see if I can do a show you on here so you can understand. Because I know a lot of you say I don't always explain everything perfectly when I'm teaching stuff. So if here's your eye, okay, so if we go a circle, that's what our circle in our eye is going to look like. If we do it this way, it's only that part of the eye. So it still looks kind of, you know, more droopy. Does that sleepy, droopy, I don't know, more normal. If you see somebody with their eyes wide open like that all the time, where all you see is their whole pupil, ask them if they have a, no, never mind, never mind. Um, I got to be nice. Um, but anyway, you want it to be, you know, like when you look at somebody, look at yourself in the mirror, look at your partner, look at their eyes, their pupils, the colors. And that's, you know, so that's how I like it. But maybe you like it real surprised looking. I don't know. That's why it's fun doing whatever the heck you want to do. It's yours. I'm going to start with a lighter uh, gray. I'm going to take that white and just mix a little bit of that gray. And I'm going into the pupil with that to make it that color. Now you can do whatever colors you want. If you want to do purple and white, do the same thing. Um, whatever you want. It's totally up to you. 
I just like this with um, the background colors, but that's me. Now you'll see, let me see if I can do this. I accidentally took some of the darker eye on the outside out, so I'm just kind of going in and tracing it. You can see right here, it's still here. Just do that, and you have the eyes in. Okay, so now eyebrows, but what we're going to do is see how we have these right here and it's kind of like dry already and well, what do I do? So take this back again and I'm going to go like this on the bottom. There's not much on here and I'm going to take a, the middle gray and I'm going to tap it around on the outsides. I'm going to leave that in the middle, but I'm going to tap it so it blends on the outside and tap it all the way out and all the way down and see how it kind of takes that edge off. So you kind of just, just type, type the tapping it. Now you can see I kind of tapped this off here. So I'm just going to go in and tap some of that gray on the eyelid a little bit. Very simple, very simple. Now, I think I want a little bit more on the eyelid. So I'm going in the dark and I'm turning it this way so I can do it the way I want. And I'm going in and I'm going over that eye one more time. Over the eyeball. And that is for the eyelid. There you go. See, that makes it even a little bit more sleepy looking or closed or relaxed. Maybe it's relaxed. I'm looking for the word. I don't know. Okay. That's what I do. There you go. Now we want to put in a black a pupil in that gray. So I'm going in with the little for the dark for the middle and I'm going to just place a little black dot in the middle there or my middle I should say. I mean you know you can use a tool whatever to get in the middle. I just do the best that I can when I'm eyeing it. And I go around in, the, in a circle. So she has her pupil. Do it over here too. And you can even take the eye down more if you want, if you want it to, but I'm just kind of leaving it like that. Not gonna worry about it too much. And then what I'm gonna do, get this a little wider. Uh, see, I screwed that one up because I couldn't leave it alone. But that's okay. Going in. Going in with some water and a paintbrush. And I'm going to tap it. And I can go back over my eye with a little bit more of the gray. And then a little more of the pupil just to kind of circle it out a little bit. There we go. And then I'll go around this one more time. Okay. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Now we want I, um, eyebrows. I what? Eyebrows. <laughs> Don't ask. All right. So I'm just going in and just do an eyebrow. You want to be fancy and you want to do eyelashes? By all means, do them. This is yours. You do whatever you want. I'm going to do over here. I'm not going to measure. I'm just going for it. See? Now, look what I did. I did that too low because I wasn't paying attention. I was seeing if I was on camera and I'm like, I'm going for it. So I'm going to wipe this off. I'm Look, I love showing you guys when I make mistakes what I, what I do to clean up. So if you guys do it, you'll know what to do to clean up. 
So I took a little bit of that off because it wasn't all the way dry. That is a mistake and that happens. All right, so there, there's that. Now I'm gonna go back in for the eye, eyebrow, except I'm gonna go up here a little bit more. Yep. And go like that. And I can do another coat once it's dry, it doesn't matter. It's just the way the eyes are going and, and whatever you wanna do. I'm not gonna outline all this underneath for the eyes. I just don't want to, but you definitely can. Um, I'm going to take the last thing is I'm going to take the black and kind of just shape this in a little bit for the lips, just so it has some separation. Not a big deal. Now I'm going to go for the hair. I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going in with the darkest color first. I'm just going in. My brush isn't clean. It's all right. I'm just going to mix it around. And I'm going in. And you can use straight black if you want. Doesn't matter. Over the chalk I'm going. Going here. I'm going to just kind of follow the face. And when it starts skipping, like you can see, just means you need more paint on your brush. So I don't know if that ever happens to you guys. It happens to me all the time when it starts drying out. You just need more paint. I know it frustrates some people thinking it's you, but it's not you necessarily. It's just that you need to pick up more paint. Paint only goes so far. And depending on your weather and everything else, it dries. All right, I'm taking it all the way down off the edge there. Leave her like that real quick. Go in for the other side. That's why I love loading both sides of the brush. Because if I go like this, two sides, and it starts to uh, dry up like that, then I just turn it over and I have more paint on that side. That's a little tip from me to you. I'll just go down here. Yeah. And then you can go back and if you want to make it wider or what have you, touch up a little bit if you want to. And we just have her hair. And then you can go in if you want to take a little bit of this gray. And let's say you have your part here. And just leave it like that. Yes, your part would be dark because it's your roots, but just bear with me for a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm taking it standing straight up on the bristles and I'm just going to add, because I want her to be, I don't know, kind of creepy. Give her some gray hair, gray highlights, what have you. And we're going to blend it in a little bit. But that bottom is going to give me a good uh, base there. Okay. Now, look here. You see how I ran this over? Let's see if I can do it here, right here. And it kind of makes it look like she has it behind her ear, like it's going over the darker. You could do all kinds of different things. Like right here, maybe I want it to be a little bit more lighter. Add a little more white. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my darker color, which is almost gone. And now I'm going to add in the dark root. And then just kind of... Pat it. But I'm going to add a little bit more light. Just the teeniest bit to kind of bring it up. Pull it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I just want some of these kind of thrown through. 
I don't know. I like the gray. I'm going gray, so I got to do what I got to do. I'm just going to pat these with my finger a little bit because I don't want necessarily want it. Yeah, there. that's much better. Okay. And that is what I'm going to do with this. I know. You all sat for what? Now, here's what. <laughs> now, I'll use this. I'll do that in another painting. I'm not going to worry about that, but here's what you're going to do next. Then you have this. So, let's take your Mod Podge, your white school glue, whatever you want. And we're going to stick it in. And I'm going for it. Mod Podge, Mod Podge, put it everywhere. I'm going to move my camera up just like that. Just so it's away from the paint so like you guys can see what I'm going to do. Now, of course, you would let your painting dry all the way. I am not. Okay. And you can see I have it. Make sure you have it on the edges and all that kind of thing. And then take your painting that you're happy with, whatever one it is. So that's what mine turned out like. And I'm going to set it on my canvas and place it down. Like I said, that's why you kind of want to dry. But you know me. I end up with everything everywhere. And what you're going to do is you're going to push and push and push the sides and do all that so it sticks, the hair, everywhere. You're just going to keep pushing it down. Push the air out like I'm doing. In the middle, push it out. And then you will let it dry. Of course, you will make sure that it's stuck down. You have enough glue. When I'm doing videos, I know I wish I was organized like some people and I could edit like some people. And like I could be like, oh, look, I'm done. See, but look, look what I do. This is me. I touch the face <laughs> with a part of my hand I did not even know. And I got uh, paint on it. So I'll just kind of tap it off. Cause that's what I do. I'm a mess. There we go. I don't get upset. I just kind of do what I gotta do to fix it. No big deal. And then you will wait until it's dry. Now something I like to do, I like to take the back of my paintbrush and dip it in white. And then I like to do a highlight in her eye. You could do this. I just tap it, but you could do it a million different ways. People do highlights a million different ways. I think it's all in what you want. What you, what you, what you want. Now, see how the this right here has that nice. Um, you can kind of see the differentiate difference between the. Uh, I'm gonna say a big word there. I don't think it fits <laughs> the um the neck. And of course, you can play a little bit more. You can add you know more around it or right. I would probably journal a bit or write some nice words and then just leave her uh, dry all the way. And then if you want to put a clear coat of Mod Podge on or, you know, a lacquer or whatever you have, then you can do that and she's all done. So what words would I use? Hmm. I don't know. This is how I've been feeling lately. I probably should have done a whole blue girl. <laughs> That's how I feel. But this is kind of, this is me in a nutshell lately. Um... I don't know. That I don't know. But you don't have to use paint from here now. Now that you have this done, you can use your markers or, you know, whatever you want. So it's totally up to you. Ah, my favorite word. Let me see. I might do it like this. Let me see. That's my word. <laughs> that is my word. Breathe. That's every. That that's what I have to keep reminding myself, is to breathe. So that's what I want to put there. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys, leave me a thumbs up if you like this. Uh, this was a longer one, of course. Let me know uh, if you have any questions. 
And uh, let me know if you do something similar to this, what, uh, what you did, tag me, email me, everything's down below to find me. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love doing like, like one tone girls. Um, you know, like we could have done this with blue. We could have done this with pink. We could have done this with red, whatever. Well, I wouldn't do pink because you would have done it with uh, red and white, but you see what I'm saying? You just pick a color and go for it. And this is gray. I could have used different grays, but why not use your black and you know that now I'm going to use that onto a canvas for a background that I want it to be a darker background to start. So everybody wins in the end. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so much. Please share me like I'm your loose friend. I love you guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.